Hey guys, it's Callie. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really cool collage out of some items I had laying around the house, the contents uh, of my junk drawer, and some happy mail embellishments. So if this looks like something you'd be interested in, get comfortable, sit back, and hey I'll guys, show you how I did it. I'm going to be sharing the contents of my actual junk drawer. I told you it was getting to the point of overflowing, and so it's time for a collage. I have not censored this in any way or prepared, so I told you I'm an organized Virgo on the outside, but this is what happens on the inside. So we are, I'm going to go through all this stuff, but I just thought you might get a kick out of seeing some of this crap. Uh, everything from canning lid jars, mason jars, lighters that don't work anymore, clips old calculator pads oh these are cool we'll definitely be using these um, these are some clock parts from um, clocks I've gotten at the auction and took apart what else do we have here bottle lids and old mirrors um, goodie bags from my sister Donathan's son's birthday these are cool a set of magnetic poetry words. Um, I have one on my refrigerator right now that says, Sing My Lazy Summer Dream. Oh yeah. Um, beads from my beaded curtain that hangs in my bedroom. Um, I didn't want to throw those out, so they might make it in here today. I don't know. What's in your guys' junk drawer? Let's see. What's this? random uh, parts and screws and washers uh, oh yes doesn't everyone have a witch nose in their junk drawer <laughs> so yeah you guys this is a bag of Scrabble letters um, and I'm going to take it monster faces for pumpkins yeah yeah clothes pins and batteries and bottle caps and crap anything that you can fit into a drawer is in here so I'm going to sort through this and get a random collection out I kind of as I do it as I go along look at this little Christmas ornament like fuses a cool necklace anyway you guys get the drift um huh, my granddaughter so i'm going to sort through this and grab some things and i'll be back and show you what else we're going to be using okay okay guys What's in i'm just going to show you what else we're going to use um use any kind of a frame or old frame or a canvas this is something i got at the auction and you know a lot with other frames but just an old frame. I'm probably going to take the glass out and I'm going to be gluing onto that um, this piece of corrugated cardboard. But use whatever you have on hand. You can use you know the backing of the picture frame itself if you want. It's this is just using up what we have on hand, recycling things and reusing. But this is going to give great texture. And I have a tin of various embellishments and things I've gotten at the auction. So chains and things like that. Um, I did decide I'm going to use this amazing embellishment that Lynn from Lynn's Crafts made for me. I'm going to link her channel below. You can check it out. So we're going to put this on our project today. Um, I just have you know various things. Here's what you have on hand. Here's a you know a bag of cogs and things like that. I showed you the watch parts before. Um, we're going to be using some tin foil to wrap around the frame. I have some squares of gauze um, to use like cheesecloth, which it is cheesecloth. <laughs> um, a piece of <clears throat> drywall patch kit. You can use the mesh on the outside as well as the tin. I have some drywall tape, which is nice and sticky. Adds great texture, but just be careful if you use your heat gun. Um, this stuff will melt. I'm going to be trying out some of my Deco Arts products today. Um, they're gesso. Looking forward to it. 
some of their multi-surface satins. This one's in black tie. I'm going to do the elegant finish metallic paints in rich espresso. I'm going to use the misters. I told you I was excited about this. This one's in carbon black. Um, this metallic luster uh, in copper kettle. And I do have some golden molding paste. I also have a texture paste recipe that I want to share with you guys, um, which I'll do at a later time. And then we definitely need our adhesive, so I'm going to use some E6000. Um, my Eileen's Tacky Glue. Can't do a project without it. I have my glue gun. Got this one at the auction for a dollar. And I'm going to try out my new little melting pot today. Might be easier to dip some of these items into the glue and apply them rather than deal with the, the glue gun itself. So we'll see. So the next step that, that I'm going to do, I'm going to take the frame and I'm going to wrap the edges in tin foil. Just kind of smush up the tin foil and wrap it around, glue it down around the edges of the frame. We're going to take this cardboard. I'm going to take the glass out. I'm going to glue the cardboard to the frame after it's wrapped in tin foil, and then I'm going to paint the whole thing in this black tie, acrylic black, and okay, I'll guys, see you back here when that dry, stage is dry, and I'll give you a little bit of a close-up here. All I did was I took the tin foil, like I said, I put uh, Eileen's Tacky Glue all around the edge of the frame, and then I crumpled up the tin foil, and I just formed it around the edges of the frame. You'll see it'll conform very easily. And I pressed it in and made sure it was nice and wrinkly. And I just glued that around the edge. And I told you I glued this piece of corrugated cardboard to the inside of the frame. I took the glass out. And then I painted the whole thing with my Americana uh, black tie paint, satin. And it is now dry. So the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to be gluing down various pieces of the um, drywall tape and that cheesecloth that you saw and random texture pieces just all around. I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with that yet. I'll be using a combination of my glue gun, the Eileen's, and the E6000. Um, and when I'm at that point, I'll come back and show you where, I'm, um, where I am from there. And then I'm going to embellish further. Okay, so change of view here. Tuned. I thought I'd give you the overhead shot for now. Um, I finished putting the duct tape, uh, you know, repair kit and some of that gauze that I showed you. I used a combination of my glue gun as well as some Eileen's Tacky Glue. So the next step, I'm going to be letting this uh, dry a little bit. But um, I'm going to be putting some texture paste on um, and using some, I don't know if you can see these good, texture tools to just kind of drag through the texture paste. And I'm just going to use my little spatula and kind of spread it around in random places, texture it up. And as soon as I'm done with that step, oh, I'll be back to show you the texture that paste well. for now. I just applied it in random spots. And then I used my tools to just add some texture. <laughs> I added texture to the texture. But I just did some ridging. And I'm going to let this dry. And once it's dry, let the gluing begin. Then I'm going to just dive into that all of our junk. I have no idea what kind of method there is to my madness right now. I can't really even envision where I'm going with this. But I'm just, again, I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm going to start gluing random pieces all over this frame and when I'm done with that I'll see you then so who knows what's going going to await us next hey guys, see you in a minute you, while that was drying I just show you what I decided to use um, I went through everything I might use all of this stuff I might use just a few of these things but uh, you never know so I just thought I'd give you a, a glance at what I've chosen before I get started. Um, it's truly random junk. Love these clock parts. Um, look at this big piece of ugly old jewelry. Um, a fuse. Some twine. 
old earrings. Um, I will be using some of these cool cogs and gears. I think I got these on Amazon. A little pair of mini scissors that came in some traveling sewing kit. Clothespin, old key ring, mirror, more clock parts, old earrings that I've got in auction halls, just random junk, thimble. I just wanted to give you a, uh, this is not junk, but might be obsolete one day. Some chains, a chain, a stick pin, clothespin, washer, a couple of bottle caps. I don't drink beer, but I'll save these for other people who do. If they come over, I'll just keep their caps. Um, little necklace pieces and yeah uh, actually I probably won't use that coin I don't know how that got in there so that's that and then I showed you that I want to use Lynn's um, moon face and I will link her below and she also sent me one of these um, amazing cabochons it has some stars in it so I may use that as well um, I adore her I thought about possibly using some of my own artwork that I just have copies of um, or perhaps this this is something I made when I was 16 years old um, that's a photo negative of myself at that age along with some drawings that I did so I don't know that's a maybe I also have some of these um, steampunky kind of graphics from uh, that I use when I make some dominoes so they might creep in there as well as I thought about using a butterfly graphic or two. Um, I think I got these free online at Graphic Fairy. So I just wanted to give you a quick glance before I start gluing things down. And the next time you see me, hey we'll have all this are. on a canvas. Um, about two Sorry. hours later, actually. And I finally have everything glued on. I mainly use my glue gun. Um... I'll just bring this up a little bit so you can really see it. I used pretty much everything I said I was going to use. Um, I did decide to use a piece of my artwork here and I just went over it with some Tim Holtz Distress Stain and Vintage Photo to make it look aged. Um, again, I'll try to bring this up. It's pretty heavy. You can see that right there. Um, I glued this small Altoids tin on and I'm going to put something in that. So our next step now, I'm going to take some gesso and I'm going to water it down a little bit and I'm going to cover this whole thing uh, with gesso. I'm going to try to stay away from the outer edges of the frame, but it doesn't really matter because ultimately we're going to cover this in black. So that's going to be the next step. I'm going to cover it in gesso, and when that's dry, okay, I'll come back guys, and I'll show you that. right now. So um, basically, I just took the gesso and I watered it down a lot, uh, like three to one, three of water, one part gesso. And I avoided the um, areas that I didn't want to cover this and the moon and I covered this a little bit but then I wiped it off so I'm gonna let this dry completely and then the next step I'm gonna do is take some of my Decoir Elegant Finish metallic paint in rich espresso and I am going to again just like I did with the gesso cover the entire thing except the areas that I don't want covered um, and then when that is complete I'll see you back here in just one second Okay, you guys, I did one coat of this uh, Elegant Finish metallic paint, and it is amazing. Super shimmery, super creamy, went on amazing. I only needed one coat to cover everything, so I'm really pleased with it. Um, my next step here, once this dries, is I'm going to water down some of the black tie paint, and I'm going to do one quick coat over everything, 
and then I'm going to take a baby wipe and wipe it all off. So as soon as that's done, I'll okay, see Okay, guys, you back I'm here. back, and this is about when I fall, start to fall in love with the project uh, at this point in the process. Usually once I get that black acrylic paint on and sponge it off, um, I really, really love how um, you can really see how everything starts to look really rich and I just really like it. I apologize if the video is shaky, but and even that's all roughed up inside. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of it. Loving how that moon face looks. Um, yeah. So, again, I used my uh, this Americana multi-surface satin and I put like three parts paint to one part water and just went over the whole thing and before it could really dry I took it off with a baby wipe and now at this next point I'm going to make sure it's fully dry and I'll cover up this picture here uh, because I don't want that to get sprayed and I'm going to finally get to try out these new misters um, I'm super excited this one's in carbon black and once I do, I'm just going to do random spatters all over, not too much. And then once that's dry, I'm going to come back in with uh, some of this metallic luster. And this is super waxy. And um, it's like Rub and Buff or Inca Gold. So I'm going to order some more of these. And actually another benefit of being in the Deco Arts program is that you can order products from them for 50% off so I did just place another order um, yesterday so I'm excited so I'm going to go in with this uh, just on my finger and go over in random places and just kind of use the gold to you know bring out some highlights and then when that's done I will see you back okay, here guys so, so I've got the rub and buff and the metallic luster on and then I splattered with the mist um, I have to say I really like this but I was looking for more of a gold effect and I'll show you this is really really copper which actually wound up working out pretty well for me but I didn't expect it to be so bright so I'm definitely going to be getting some more gold so I pulled out my rub and buff as well um, in antique gold and I used both the copper and the gold I'll just kind of show you um, and then after I did that, I splattered with the mister. And I'm going to make sure this is really 100% dry. And then I'm going to go in one more time and see if maybe there's any embellishments I want to add, if you can believe it. Um, I do want to put something on the outside of this box and the inside as well. So uh, stay tuned for that but it's just going to be one or two little things i promise and then we are almost okay, done guys, here i've finished so, adding yeah. embellishments and i did a little touch up um let's see i'll take you in a little bit closer i added this little butterfly and i made some antenna out of copper wire um on the inside of the box i put it's still drying uh this is a ticket and a little strip of a butterfly that I got from Deb Buchanan, Serendipity629. I'll link her channel down below as well. And here is an embellishment that I got from Miss Rita Marie. I'll link her below. I decided to do that to take some of my Happy Mail stuff. This is from my friend Peggy. Um, I have one here from Allie from Dingley Delification. And um, this one I think I got from Allie as well. Um, or Deb Buchanan, I'm not sure. Please forgive me, girls. Um, I went in the letters with my um, gel pen. And... I'm really, really happy with the way that this turned out, you guys. Um, oh, here's a little scully. And I think...
think that's it as far as other embellishments that I put on. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I make videos frequently. I would love to have you here. And I hope you guys are having a great night. And remember to shine on. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Blessed be.